fact is this uh, war that is entering its fifth war is a chronicle of missed opportunities. And we have said also that it's very important that uh, member states will overcome the ambiguity. At the same time, mem member states are saying the same thing uh, that we are saying, that is there is only a diplomatic negotiated solution. But on the other hand, we see uh, that funds and uh, weapons are being delivered for uh, all sides of, of the conflict. Then I think that it's time to stop with this ambiguity. It's time to invest uh, every uh, power that is possible to, to reach the end of, uh, of this conflict. Name the people that they want details from, or can they ask for a national group, or can they ask for information about... At this moment, at this moment, we are not going to release publicly the list. However, bearing in mind what I've said in terms of accountability considerations, we are open to cooperating with state authorities, particularly prosecution and judicial authorities, where they are investigating crimes, prosecuting alleged perpetrators. We are open to cooperating with state authorities. You will continue to provide information. So, so what is new? We would like the Security Council to cross-refer cases to the International Criminal Court. Or, as has been highlighted by us currently also, establish an ad hoc tribunal. A second level is to invite the General Assembly to support us on this. In other words, to have a resolution asking the Security Council to cross-refer cases to the ICC or ad hoc tribunal. And we have an example because uh, when uh, the Eton uh, uh, negotiation was done for the Balkan war, uh, uh, Milosevic was under, uh, even under arrest warrant, and uh, he participated, of course, at the negotiation because he represents the states. So it is a similarity for, for, for Syria. I think that negotiation should be done with the presence of, uh, of the government, of the actual government of Syria, because otherwise, how can you reach uh, successfully a negotiation?